September 8th. It is 6.45 a.m. And we about to go catch a train. <laughs> Isn't that right, honey? Yep. Yeah, we, we just dropped Coco off. Well, first we're about to go grab some breakfast so we can take it with us on the train because we have an eight hour train ride. So we're about to grab some breakfast and then go get on this train. I have literally been up all night. I have not been asleep since yesterday morning and that is no joke. I haven't had a nap or anything because I was up editing my video for Sunday all week because I did not post last week. And I told you guys I would have a video for you this coming Sunday, so I couldn't let you down. So I stayed up the entire night. I have not had any sleep since like seven o'clock yesterday morning. And I got it done. So there will be a video on Sunday. And if you haven't seen it, because it'll be out by the time you see this video, I'll link it up above so you can check it out. So we're about to go on an adventure and we're gonna bring y'all with us because we need a little breaky break. And now that his foot is better, we can do some things. <laughs> I'm about to roll again. Yeah, because our summer was a bust. <laughs> but that's okay. We're going to make up for it. <laughs> my nails they're so cute Always we end up getting sick together. We don't start out that way, but we end up that way. We can't have to go through this. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the air. <laughs> <laughs> the time go. Take all my passions with pain, but would you do the same? I'm going so insane, thinking about where you and I go. Three years seems like forever when you sit and think about it I put my heart out on my sleeve but I can't live without it Baby, we can't keep no light and light oh, Too much time by the pool back at Chicago Sunshine's made fit, chillin', that's the motto Do we really wanna take it there? I scream, you scream, we can never play it fair Thought you're on my team, don't you ever dare Bench me cause you know I'm your favorite player If you wanna, we can take it there We're in Connecticut So we're in Breezeport, Connecticut I've never been here, so I'm excited <laughs> Can get up and get on my ride. Three years seems like forever when you sit and got my Dorito. You my joint. Are we there yet? No, we're not. He's getting on my nerves. Oh, I can't bring him. I put my heart out on my sleeve, but I. Baby was nice enough to stop and get me this this morning. Let's see what it tastes like. No, show me. Hold on, guys. Take great. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, see the chicken. And I don't know what else that is. Y'all like my nails? Aren't they so cute? <laughs> I screamed you stop to go. So it's 306. So the train left at 733. Now it's 306 and we're about to get to our stop. We get to get on.
just got to our hotel in our hotel room. We're at the AC Hotel in downtown Boston. And it's cute, right? It's yeah. cute. Let me show y'all real quick. Nothing fancy, but it's nice. Shout out to my friend Carmisha for giving us that. <laughs> Friends and family. Hook up. Thanks, Carmisha. Love you, girl. Okay. So this is the room when you walk in. You have a closet. Closet right here. Bathroom right here. It's the bathroom. Shower. Sink. You know, I don't care. I know, I know a lot of YouTubers care about the lighting and stuff because they do their makeup, but y'all know I don't be doing all that. So it's, it'll work for me. <laughs> I can't see with or without light anyway. So there's the bed. There's Lonnie on the couch. TV and stuff. And then look at this gorgeous view. <laughs> Isn't it lovely? Boston traffic. Yes. <laughs> lovely view. So we're gonna get situated and then we're gonna go roam these streets. Stay tuned. Yeah, <laughs> but you already know, tomorrow we have a tour coming because we don't know nothing about this city. Nope. <laughs> and so tomorrow we're going to Martha's Vineyard. So that's what we're doing. That's really why we came here to go there. But yeah, so that's the plan. We're just waiting on our Uber right now. We're gonna go down to the Boston and Seaport. I'm so tired, but because we're only here for a limited amount of days, I don't want to like waste this time. So, yeah. So we're gonna go out and just venture out a little bit tonight. But we'll be back in early because we have to get up first thing in the morning. Nice over here. Getting our steps in. <laughs> oh, sure. One thing I can say so far is that it's nice and clean out here. At least over where we are, anyway. Isn't that right? Yep. So we've been walking around and if you watch my channel and you live in Boston, where the black folks at? <laughs> where we at y'all? I mean the people are nice, the city is nice, but I'm just like, are, do we live here? We've seen uh, maybe one or two. <laughs> it's just one or two of us. I know there's got to be more. Guys, we were looking for somewhere to eat, so we came to this barbecue place. It's called the Smoke Shop. We're gonna see how it is. Let's see if there's stuff smoking or not. <laughs> So we're still figuring our, our way around this town. Yeah. This is exactly why it's important to do the tour because if you don't know where you're going, you will just be going walking. in circles. And then nobody got time for that because that's a lot, of, a lot of waste of time. But the main reason we came here is so that we can do, go do the Martha Vineyards tour. That's the main reason we came here. But yeah. we figured while we're here, we might as well take advantage of it. So we'll have all day Saturday here. Yeah, today is our first night and we got here pretty late in the afternoon. So we're only going to do too much. So and I'm sleeping because I've been up and since made, 7 o'clock. And yesterday. I'm ready to go watch the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And plus the bus is coming to pick us up at 6.15 in the morning. So we got to be ready. Yeah. You know we got to be in the bed by 10 o'clock. Yeah, because we old like that. <laughs> the half wrap, the pit beans, the potato salad, and the cornbread. And they put a piece of watermelon on here. What are they trying to say? <laughs> Boston Tea Party Museum, you guys. You want to come see it? <laughs> guys, so we're walking back to our hotel now. And if you come here, do not go to that restaurant. It was disgusting. It was very nasty. So, yeah. It had good reviews, but honey, that shit was nasty. I'm sorry. 
have no taste. Y'all know I love food. Excuse my language. I'm sorry, but it was nasty. <laughs> had no flavor at all. And then when we eat ribs, we usually like the meat to fall off the bone. That stuff was rough. <laughs> It just was not good at all. So, I don't know what I was expecting. But now I know not to expect anything. Like I tell my kids, if you have no expectations, you have no disappointments. So, that will be the motto that I continue to live by. We learning our way. <laughs> you just gotta go out and get lost and like you learn your way back. I remember my mother used to say, just go get in the car and get lost. You'll find your way back home. When I first started like driving. Yeah, you could have saved money on a Uber. We sure could have. <laughs> It is like 5.30 in the morning. We're about to leave to go and catch our uh, tour bus. I know it's early. That's the only thing about these tours is if they're all day, they tend to leave very early in the morning. So prepare yourself for that. And if this is a good tour, um, well, even if it's not, I'll leave the link to this exact tour down below because normally when I take a tour in my videos, I notice people have, asked, have been asking me for the tour name. And then by that time, I don't even remember which exact one I booked, but this time I'll make sure to make a note of the one that I booked and I'll link it down below for you guys. Guys, so we are about to go. I hope you see walking out in the streets this time. This time of the morning. <laughs> Don't try this at home. Try <laughs> at home. Walking out where you don't know where you at at night. <laughs> so we made it to the hotel, but I, like always, we're like super duper early. <laughs> Not super early, but about 20 minutes early. But it's better to be early than late. Because the day you come late is the day you miss your ride that you can pay your money for you. You won't be able to get your money back. <laughs> We're just at the rest stop on our way to the ferry. And yeah, so we chilling in the right one. Yeah, like public transportation. Okay guys, so we made it to the ferry stop. So now we're about to go get on the ferry. I'm tired. I'm gonna go sleep. <laughs> Let me just say, it's not very diverse. It's only maybe about five of us. 
And I know some people who may not be a, a person of color may not understand, but my people of color understand. Do not let that stop you from coming. You know, because it's a lot of world to see, and we are welcome just like everybody else. As I know y'all know that, because you know that's not gonna stop us from nothing. But it's funny because there's this other um black couple, and the lady come up to me, she's like, "Oh, it's so glad to see y'all." I was like, "Girl, I know." I know. <laughs> So we're off the bus for an um, hour and we're gonna go walk around and see the town is so pretty out here look they, they don't really have crime out here on this tour even though like I said there's not a lot of us there's a lot of African-American history in here he talks about you know how black we played a part in establishing this area and everything so it's really interesting so don't let you know anything discourage you from not from coming here if you've always wanted to come here because if you let that discourage you then you'll pretty much never go anywhere but it's really cute out here it's so cute look ryan little <laughs> All types of little shops and stuff. <coughs> I could live here. Look, every time we go, I know y'all like, girl, every time you go somewhere, you stay where you can live. <laughs> yeah. This type of place, it reminds me of Victoria. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Victoria, British Columbia, and Canada. It kind of reminds us of that. Because it's like on a little island, so it's very small. Like, like this. And it's walkable. It's a walkable place. Oh, look at that little cafe. Behind the bookstore, breakfast, lunch, and cafe. Yeah, it's cute. They're telling us how the island shuts down like in the winter. So all these houses get closed up for the winter time. I would love to come here and stay like a couple days. Where we could really like come in and like really enjoy it. Yeah. So we'll have to put that on our list of things to do. I see it. Thank you. ice cream <laughs> saying how people still leave their keys in their cars and stuff i was like hey you can do that with we leave where they gonna drive to? yeah but like you said where are they gonna go gonna he's like there's like no crime because you will get caught here because <laughs> there's no way to get off the island i've been living my plot in crime okay. 
That's right, we roll. Just want another adventure. Bucket list number 137. <laughs> <laughs> Too big to wipe out lethal. Switch it up. Ay. Take it slow. Take it slow. Bring it back. Bring it back. Let them know. Let them know. Break it down. To the flow. To the flow. Pick it up. Pick it up. Let it go. Let it go, baby. Back on the grind. Don't shake my shine. You could do me wrong. I'ma be alright, cuz. You, you could try to pull me back down. But it's gonna take you a while. To go up here and look on this rooftop and see what we can see because the guy said the view up here was really, really nice. Gonna cry, don't shake my shine. You could do me wrong, I'ma be all right, cuz. You, you could try to pull me back down, but it's gonna take you a while. I honey bees, they don't stand like me. Yeah. I'm resilient, like an apple tree. Always wanted more, they just bother me. But I get money in, like it falls from trees. I just wanna dance, I just wanna see For someone like me Dreams don't come for free But I take my time, it'll come to me You could have it all But it's hard to keep Switch it up Take it slow Take it slow Bring it back Bring it back Let them know Let them know Bring it down To the flow To the flow Pick it up Let it go Let it go Switch it up Switch it up Take it slow Look at the yards you guys are so pretty this video is not even doing it justice Lani is like oh my god their yards are so nice because they're absolutely beautiful it's just gorgeous up over there that little island right there that's Kenny bunk port I'm sure you guys are familiar with that if you know about that whole Kennedy story where that girl got killed and stuff that's the island of Kenny bunk port right there oops right there I just told Lani that while we were on the ferry I had went downstairs because it was cold up top and I met this guy named Paul from Iowa he was so nice he lives in a town of 1,200 people, which I'm sure he's never met anybody like me, but that's why it's always nice meeting new people because when people have perception of people from watching the news, which can be very misinformative, then they get to meet different people for themselves. And then they know that, you know, we're not what you see on the news. And he was just like, it was so nice meeting you. It was so nice talking to you. He was like, I love meeting new people and, and learning about how they live and da 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 Yeah, me too. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why I say, just be nice to people, smile with people. You never know who you might meet. You never know the change you may make in somebody's life. And so, kindness costs nothing. I see what this says. It says, be soft. Do not let the world make you hard. Do not let the pain make you hate do not let the bitterness steal your sweetness remember that guys words to live by <laughs> see this little inn it's so cute this is definitely somewhere we could bring miss coco with us too right honey yes. we could bring coco it's pet friendly <laughs> pet friendly yes ma'am yes ma'am pet friendly pet friendly between your houses, you get the water. So pretty. So pretty. I know. I know. We just say Brady Bus Y'all remember Station Wagons? I see it. Y'all remember Station Wagons? Honey said Brady Bunch doing it. <laughs> Which we would walk by myself at night down the street. You heard me? I wouldn't even walk by myself at night in my neighborhood. <laughs> it's not bad, but... <laughs> Hungry? Yeah, but we're gonna eat later. So yeah, I'm I know. I'm trying not to eat all that stuff because I feel like we ate so much. Yeah. So I'm trying to eat. But we're gonna eat good this day. Yeah. Not like last night. Yeah, it was disgusting. Mm. Look at this little cute house. It's so cute and it's right next to the church. It's so super cute. Isn't it, Lonnie? Yep. Uh huh. You said what? What do you like so far? They, <laughs> they take care of their yards. Yeah. All of them. All the yards that we've seen so far are nice. 
that that's so pretty. Look how they have the curtains around the porch. It's so pretty and so green and just so quaint out here. So pretty. Little gardens are so pretty. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the little gazebo. So you guys, I'm just sitting here waiting. We have like uh, nine minutes before the bus leaves for the next stop. So I think Lani and I, we've decided we're gonna come back here around this time, maybe next year, because this is a good time to come because it's kind of off season and it's not as crowded as it normally is in the summertime. So this is just a good time to come. So probably best that we didn't go in August and that we came now. It's not good he broke his foot, but the timing of this was better. So you guys, one thing that our tour guide told us is that, um, what did he say? He said it was a point in time where, um... Ellen had a recession. Yeah. Y'all so, enjoy your time? So, yeah. Yeah. the white people couldn't afford to live here. So the black people came and fixed it up. And so that's why, you know, I guess that's like the Inkwell area. And stuff. Yeah, yeah, Oak so, Bluff. Yeah, Oaks Bluff and Inkwell area. So, yeah, so... Our people just came and fixed it up. <laughs> Oh, you mean if you go to a pool? Yeah, wherever we go, we can put this in. Oh, okay. Then hello, I'll introduce myself. The name BC Hill, name is High Ladies Mel. Got a whole lot of lines that get stuck in my mind. John Belushi is buried down there. Where did he say? Yellow is the first one about his life. That's why you see a fat smell. Those are all the great vines. The great vines, you guys. My heart stay falling when I'm walking through your door No conversation about the waiting from last week We both leave sweating like athletes So you wanna roll with me and that's good Okay you guys, so now we're at our second stop Which is the Gay Head Cliffs So it's so cute up here It's so freaking cute, look Everywhere, so I definitely gotta get me some ice cream. here you guys yes. isn't it if you get a chance to come you come you tell them Anita and Lonnie sent you <laughs> you know I was thinking I was like with all the craziness going on in the world and stuff I mean it's just I don't know this just takes you away from it right yeah you don't feel that tension here super peaceful yeah you don't feel that tension and having to have your neck on dag on swivel 24 <laughs> 7 just sit so. back and relax yeah Chill, like. <laughs> Water over here is like so pretty. It's like blue, like the islands. It's so pretty. It's not like brown, like in Maryland. <laughs> That's why I hate going to the Maryland beach because it's brown. Look at the water, you guys. See how blue the water is? It's so gorgeous. So nice. had a bathroom break. I'm about to go to the back of the bus and go to our, I guess the next stop, right? Yeah. Look you guys, Tom, our tour guide was in Jaws, right there. Yeah. The town we are in right now, Aquinnah, is ran by 
Native Americans. And then what he said is, seems like here they respect everyone and everyone's culture and everyone's contribution. All right, so you guys, we have like two hours over here before we have to go back to the bus. So what we're gonna do, we could've went to two restaurants because we got discount cards with our tickets. We could've went to Nancy's and what was the other place called? You remember? And another restaurant where we would've got a, either a free soup at the one place and then 10% off our meal at Nancy's. But the thing is, we don't have a lot of time. And since we're not staying here on the island, we figure we would just get something quick so we can walk around and see the sights because you know, tomorrow ain't guaranteed. We don't know if we gonna make, ever make it back here or not. Our plan is to, yep. but you just never know. So See, we're gonna as much as you can. Exactly, exactly. So you guys, we ordered a lobster roll and we're gonna do two slices of pizza. So we ordered a lobster roll and fries from over that side. We ordered two slices of pepperoni from this side. Over here is considered the little gingerbread cottages because all the houses are like look like little gingerbread houses. They're so cute. The hotel is called Summer Camp. I look at this little area, you guys. It's so cute and it's full of like little gingerbread cottages. That's what they call this area. It's like really cute. I've never seen anything like this little community. It's cute. That one. Look at that one right there. And then that one they named it. It's called Sunshine Daydream. They're just all really cute and unique. Love. Have a rest. <laughs> it's so cute. The house is so cute. You can't see the inside from here, but you can see it from where I'm standing, and it's like super cute. They have it decorated so cute inside. This house right here is called Practically Perfect. It's super cute. And they have a super nice sign on the door. We believe Black Lives Matter, no human is illegal, love is love, women's rights are human rights, science is real, water is life, and justice anywhere is a threat for justice everywhere. That's so sweet. I could show y'all each and every house, but I don't even know if y'all will sit through the video. So <laughs> do me a favor. If you make it to the end of this video, y'all know what to do. Put a little heart and let your girl know. Cause look, I be working hard on this content, so y'all need to watch it. <laughs> you don't need to watch it, but if you watch it, I so, so appreciate it. Cute little shops. Such cute little shops. It's a lot of cute shops, but y'all don't need to buy none of this stuff. Cause I'm not gonna do nothing with it. They're having a kite festival tomorrow, but we won't be here, so we're gonna miss it. You guys know something else that they do here that I like is that um, they have the Bank of Martha's Vineyard. So, like, say if you own a home here and you can't afford it because the taxes have become too much or whatever, then that bank buys your house and then they keep it and they hold on to it so that developers can't just come here and just, you know, change the landscape of this of the island and stuff like that. I think that's so good, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Two percent of the taxes go to the, the fund. Yeah, so the thing is, is that, because you know how we're, you know, regularly, you know, a lot of these investors are buying up homes, so it's making it unaffordable for people to be able to purchase homes because the investors are buying them and then they're renting them out and then they're hiking... Yeah, then they're hiking the rents up. So I just think that that's really good that bird. <laughs> so I think it's just really good that they do that. Like they really do a lot to maintain the integrity of the island. And I think that's great. Annie's gone to film, so I'm just gonna sit here and admire God's beauty. Guys, this house right here. This is Peter Norton's house. If you don't know who Peter Norton is, he's the guy that created the Norton antivirus so he's super rich <laughs> oh, look at this house look at the garden is so beautiful isn't it so pretty
Okay, you guys, so where we are now is, I'm sure many of you know, is the Inkwell. So we're over in the Inkwell area. This is the beach. And then these are the homes. It's absolutely beautiful over here. And one thing that our tour guide told us is that, like, I think I might have mentioned this earlier in the tour, but when the, um, I guess the recession or something happened and a lot of white people left, so black people moved here and fixed all of this up. Look at their old movie theater. <laughs> mm. So good. Okay, family, look, we out here in these streets and we even met some new friends already. That's Nicole and that's her husband Craig. They're from Houston. So, hey, what's up, people? What's up, good people? <laughs> You guys, so we're back from Martha's Vineyard and we're about to get on our bus and look at those houses over there. Aren't they so cute? They are so cute. You gotta come out here if you get the time. If you've already been here, then you know. But if you haven't been here, now you know. Name of the tour company. Book mine through TripAdvisor. So just FYI. Ooh. Did you have a good day? That's why I had a good day. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired? Yeah, we're sleepy. We're ready to go back and take a nap. I'm gonna take a nap and then go back out. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. That's what I'm about to do when we get back. Look at that know, cute little Starbucks. It's most so cute. Time. Look, look here. It's cute. I like to just keep it simple. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. All right. Let's get it. All right, so the bus just dropped us off. Now we're walking back to our hotel. Today was a fun. It was fun. It was a fun day. I love those tours too because we always meet some. We always make friends. Don't we, Lonnie? We, yeah, we always meet nice people. The couple we met were from Houston. So we got folks to go see in Houston now. We got Petrina and Andre to go see in North Carolina. We got um, Nicole and Craig. That's who we just met. Then the, they remember when we went to Puerto Rico? Uh -huh. What are their names? I forgot their names that quick. Laura and um, what was her husband's name? In Dallas. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we just always meeting folks. But yeah, that tour was great. Like, if you've never been to Mar Martha's Vineyard and you come to Boston, definitely a day trip would be great. Yeah. And the thing is, some people may not like the tour in Martha's Vineyard because you're on the bus a lot, but the guy knows the whole history. He's lived there his whole life and he told you a lot of stuff that, unless you like look it up and stuff or think to look it up, you wouldn't even know. Right. But then you get a lot of time to get off and walk around too, so it was really nice. I definitely, well, we would definitely love to go back there and stay a couple days, ride, rent bikes and ride bikes, put Coco in the little bike basket, and then go to Nantucket. <laughs> so, but yep, yeah, that item has been crossed off our list. Yes, so, next. <laughs> yeah, so. We're gonna go chill at the hotel room for a minute and hopefully we don't fall asleep because you know us. I'm not going to sleep. Yeah, and going. then go venture out. This is the area that we're staying in. It's really nice over here. It's really quiet. Yeah. Then right there is our hotel, the AC Hotel Boston Downtown. are so cute you guys the streets are so cute because they're like winter street summer street <laughs> We decided to get some something healthy for dinner, so we got some sweet green. It's nice out here tonight. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna go take showers and go to sleep because we're tired. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Saturday. It is. Damn, it's late. It's like 11:16. On Saturday, September 10th? Yeah, today's the 10th. 
I don't know if y'all can hear me because it's a lot of traffic. But we're walking over the, a bridge from our hotel to go to find the trolley so we can take the trolley and do the little trolley tour of Boston. I'm sorry about all the noise, you guys. So yeah, yesterday, I don't know if I, I didn't, I don't think I ended the vlog last night, but yesterday we went to Martha's Vineyard and it was such, a, it was just so nice. Wasn't it, Lonnie? Awesome. It was beautiful awesome. there. It's laid back, so if you're looking to go there and party, that's not gonna be a place you wanna go, but if you wanna go and enjoy the environment, some peacefulness, some tranquility, and some beautiful views, then it's definitely a really nice place to go. The weather was perfect, like today it's kinda hot and muggy, but yesterday it was really nice. So yeah, so we're gonna go do the trolley tour around Boston, and then later tonight we're gonna go out to dinner we have reservations for dinner at this restaurant and a couple we met on the tour last night is gonna come with us. So, they're supposed to come with us, we'll see. But yeah, so that's what we're about to do today. Hope you guys all are having a great weekend and I'll check back in with y'all later. Don't deny that I could do some company. But hopefully it won't be like that. But it is really cute, isn't it? Nice in there. Yeah, it's nice. I showed, I filmed that. I showed you guys. It's really cute in there. It's a really nice day over here. It's, it's hot out. It's cool over here because it's a lot of buildings. And stuff. I'll just yeah, I'll pin around the area so you guys can see. When you put doubts and doubts and doubts in my mind, they have buildings and stuff over there. You make me feel like we could be something more, something more. Up on the trolley, we're gonna tour the Boston Public Gardens. Oh, let's go over this way. It's pretty.
they sell this out in October. Just gonna walk around over on this side of town a little bit. Oh, so pretty. Look at all the boats. It's so pretty. There's so many talented people around here playing. Now we're at Quincy Market. I'm about to go see what's popping out in these Boston streets. <laughs> My baby was in the Navy. You gotta come check out the USS Constitution. Not too many I can deep in. That's a question called a deep fan. I've been swimming in the deep end. Tried to warn him when I pop out. Hard me hardy. We were working up the gangway. With a boss now. Okay, my daddy said I got a lot to learn. I think that I'm ready, but I gotta win my turn. Yeah, I see all this money hungry, I'm about to earn. Uh, I think I can do this in a way. Self respond as it will play. Uh, uh, I don't care what your daddy said. Looking at you like a snack pack. You get out with your pudding. Pull out spoons from my backpack. Look at my Uncle Hill happened on my birthday, June 17th. Hold on, hold on. Hi. I'm gonna vote for that one. Yeah, when you I don't care what your daddy said. Looking at you like a snack pack. You get out with your food. This area, I'm gonna show y'all. This neighborhood hasn't been touched since it's first been built. That's what the lady said. The tour guide said. Let me show you. You know what I mean? People live down there. What time in mailbox? So cute. I see all this money hungry on my I missed the time and it closed at 4, so we didn't get to go in. Cheers. You guys, so we are about to go out to dinner to this little place called Daryl's something something. I don't know. I'll show you when we get there. It's called Daryl's Corner Kitchen. Um, the couple we met yesterday, they were supposed to go with us, but they're going on a cruise, um, so they have to get a COVID test today at six, so they canceled, but that's fine, because it's just that we were gonna go anyway, regardless whether they were coming or not. We had the reservation and they asked us if we would add them, and we did, but now they can't come, but that's okay. So let me just show you what I'm wearing. Nothing fancy, but I am wearing a dress. So um, let me just show you. I have this black dress on that I got from H&M. I actually have a gold dress this color as well. So I have on this black dress. And then I just have on my necklace that I got from Arizona. I just have on some gold hoops because those are the only earrings that I bought. And then I have on these wedges that I got from Aldo that I've had for a while. That's what I'm wearing. Oh, he's wearing this shirt that I bought him from H&M. And then some no oh yeah that i bought for him from zara i'm sorry i forgot you got a better memory than me this shirt that i got him from zara 
some black um, jeans. Shoes I got them from Aldo. Look really handsome, by the way. And give it a go. Oh, thank you, baby. You ready to go? I'm ready to go. I'm hungry. Right. We'll do what we do best, and that's eat. Yeah. <laughs> Right yeah, my, you never know, you never know. Go downstairs and catch our lift. They said he'll be here in a minute, we'll see. He said yeah. he's gonna be showing up on time. So, we'll see. That I be you. All you wanna do is party, yo, I know. Yeah. I know. I know. You are the type that they want me about, I yeah. hear. Yeah. 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 Y'all, they got a lot of things they can't do. Yeah, <laughs> She go hearted like Greenland. Church girl moving like a queen pen. I'm singing this to you. She said, Let me know when you're ready for me. Ready for me. Ready for me. She said, Let me know when you're ready for me. Ready for me. Ready for me. Yeah. Hey, fashionably late on purpose, all eyes on you. Fashionably late. Guys, I really wanted to like that restaurant, but that food was disgusting. Everything was good until we started until yeah. we started to eat. I'm from Virginia, so when it comes to soul food, I'm very particular and and that food was like nasty. It had no taste at all, like none. Not even the chicken. Like how your fried chicken don't have no taste. Like you, you got to put the seasons and the spices and the flour. Like what's going on? It's just uh, the hush puppies. The the best thing was the drink. The drink was good. The atmosphere was nice, but. The food since we've been here, we just have not had good experiences with food. Yeah. We, the, yeah. the best food we had was um. The best food? Stuff and Martha's dinner and, and sweet the green. sandwiches we had. As well. Yeah, I and mean, the sandwiches we had this morning at the little bakery, and then sweet sweet green, which is a chain restaurant. But the food here just that soul food had no soul. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, we about to get ready to go to bed. So we can get up tomorrow and go home. Go get Coco. Go home. And get some real food. <laughs> yeah, and see what progress they made on our bathroom because they've been working in the house, um, in the bathroom while we were gone this weekend. Yeah. So we will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Peace. Good morning, you guys. Happy Sunday. Today is Sunday, September 11th. Oh, it's 9 Yeah. We're about to check out our hotel and head to our train. Had a fun weekend though. <laughs> One thing we can definitely say is we know our way around this city now. Walking, yeah, it's, it's confusing at first, but it's pretty simple to get around. It's a very walkable city. Yeah, so now we're walking to the train station. video yet because um they've actually been at the house working on the um the bathroom all weekend so i'm anxious to see because i wasn't there when they were tiling and stuff and you know sometimes if we're not there we want to make sure things come out right but mr jimmy's pretty good and we've been in contact so we'll see and then our son went and got cocoa for us so yeah, so when I see it, y'all will be seeing it. So we got to load up this car and then go home. Guys, so we just got home. Come here, Coco. So Coco is so happy to see us. And we're, come here, boo-boos. Come say hi to the fam. 
Because they always wonder when, what, what you've been up to when we go away. Come here, boo-boo. Come here. Come here. Come here. Say hi, family. Say hi. Why are your eyes look so bright? Okay, there we go. Hi, baby. I missed you. The bathroom is looking so good, isn't it, Lonnie? Look it. Let me show you the progress. So, this looks good. Look how good the tile is looking. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. It looks better than I thought. So good. Hey family, Editing Anita here, and once again, I forgot to end the vlog. As you can tell, we had a really great time. We had such a great weekend. It was so much fun, and if you ever get the chance to want to go to Martha's Vineyard, if you haven't been yet, I highly recommend that you go. Again, I'll link the, I'll put a link down in the description, in the description box to the tour that we took, and just so you know, the tour that we took left from Boston. They actually picked us up from Boston and drove us the two hours that it took to get to the boat, so if you're coming from somewhere else, I couldn't tell you how to get there. I could just tell you how to get there from Boston and the link to the tour that I'm putting down below will um, get you there from Boston but anyway um, I want to say if you're new to the channel hey oh hey I'm Anita welcome to my channel welcome to the family to all my returning subscribers you guys know how I feel about y'all y'all know I love y'all y'all know y'all mean the world to me and if you happen to be stopping by and you like what you see feel free to hit that subscribe button down below and become part of the family also don't forget to hit your notification bell so that you don't miss any videos that I upload another thing guys please 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 remember to hit the um if well please if you like the video please remember to hit the like button because that does help the channel and I would appreciate it so so much and one more thing I've noticed that um, the majority of you watching my videos are not subscribed and I don't understand why you're not subscribing because it's free it's free 99 it does not cost you a dime and I would appreciate it so so much I appreciate everybody that's watching but I just noticed that there's more people who aren't subscribed who are watching than people who are subscribed that, that are watching so if you hit that subscribe button I'd appreciate it so so much and would love to have you become an official part of the Rolling with Anita family but yeah guys that's gonna do it for this video I hope that you enjoyed it and as always I just want to say thank you so much for watching thanks for rolling with the girl I love y'all and I'll see you on my next video bye